Hey guys, buddy kid again. Welcome back to more Twilight Princess HD. Last time we started getting, or we went to this uh, second world of Twilight, and my friend Fat Boy was with me in this episode. We are going to go on a bug hunt. Let's go ahead and get this started. We're gonna start things off by going into this area over here. We indeed we can. All right, let's go ahead and keep on jumping. Sweetness. Oh. Where can we be now? Oh, cutscene. Oh. Cripes, I don't see those black brutes anywhere. They've gotta be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold up this sanctuary against beasts that strong, eh? Once they attack, it's over. Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her, and the whole gang from town went to save her. And what happened, she was already gone, and there were two monsters waiting. Connecting the dots, that means if they we get attacked by them, then we'll be... Barnes! Look, Renando, all I mean to say is that it's risky here, too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is... a cellar. <gasps> what?! You got a cellar?! Where's the entrance, man?! The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. <laughs> I would not do that. When father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects, like the beasts outside. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Fuck me twice is coming to save us all. I can feel it. Well, you have to admit, it's a pretty creative way of getting to the basement. <laughs> Although, uh, most people, when they have a basement, they just, like, have a door that leads to it. But this? This is something new. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and light all of these. And there's our way. Ah. <sighs> I think I have many memories of Kakariko Village. Usually... I was actually... Oh. Let's see if we can get back these things. Boom! <laughs> there we go. Are these creatures... Alright, same old as usual. Getting the bugs and getting out of here. 
Sounds like a plan to me, Binda. Let's get out of here. Oof. Man. I should not have started recording on an empty stomach. Ugh. I think once this episode's done, I'll give myself something to eat. That sounds like a plan. I don't think there are any bugs in this area, so let's just go ahead and get out of the graveyard. Oh, hey, Dad. <laughs> have you ever seen this part of the game? <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, I think the next bug we're gonna get is the ones over here. Okay. Now, if memory serves right, there's a way to get in here through here. Yep, there we go. Hmm. Now, I was actually watching at Twilight Princess HD Versus. Go check that out, by the way. And the first episode, Tyler mentioned something which I felt was pretty important. He mentioned how most Let's Players, sometimes what they'll do is they don't have a story to tell, and they'll just explain what's going on. And I found out it was a pet peeve for him, so... I'm thinking what I should do is, before before I even start getting an episode in, I gotta think of a story to tell. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Oh, hello. You you seem friendly. Get up and... Alrighty. Yeah, that Midna power-up is definitely, well, overpowered. Is there another way to get out of here? Ugh. It's been, um... It's been quite a long time. Oh, hey, Rupee. Let's go ahead and grab that. Hmm. And I guess there's really no other way of getting out of here, so... Let's just go ahead and leave. If I can, that is. Ah. But yeah. After... I mean, once we're done hunting bugs in this area, there's only one more area to go to. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Alrighty. Now which building should I go to now? Oh, I know. This one up here. Okay. Alright. Let's go down here. Oh yeah. Oh, happy President's Day, by the way. This is, um... Actually, this President's Day is pretty cool for me because... You know, everyone's staying home and, well... This is... As you probably heard earlier, my father's home. He's actually working on... He's actually doing work from home, which... It's always pretty cool. I thought I saw a Midna thing. You don't hear Aaron, let's go. Alrighty, let's go. Alrighty. Now the thing is, I don't think... Once we're done with this area, I think we actually have to go to the Goron Mines. If memory serves right, because there's still a few bugs down there. <laughs> bugs. <laughs> well... I guess you could say there are a few... <laughs> nah, nah, that, that pun's not really that good. Ugh. I really... That's another thing too, is that... Is those people who know me... Know that Emil, or Trigger Conroy, is also one of my heroes. And I gotta think of... I gotta think of some top quality puns for them. Yeah. Alrighty. <coughs> now... Oh boy, this part. Now... As we're going to this next bug, I got a bit of a story to tell. Now... Yeah. 
Which way is it? Oh, it's down here. My bad. I keep forgetting. But yeah, this next bug. Once we get it, I gotta tell a story about it. Bye, bird. Bye bye. Now, right. now this is the same thing as usual. We light a fire and then light a chimney. But oh. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I gotta get out of here too. Oh. And boom goes the dynamite. And there go the bugs. Well, I suppose so, Midna. Sometimes you have to do something bad in order to achieve something good. Um, well, not always. And sometimes, whenever something bad's happened, you have to do something really good in order for things to be good again. Oh? Thank you, Midna. <laughs> uh, this jumping ability. Yeah, Midna's jumping ability is definitely one of my favorites. Oh! Mostly because, well... Because not only... Because sometimes you don't just jump wildly. Sometimes you have to, like, jump with good timing. Like in the forest we were in earlier with that moving pendulum thing. Ugh, that part was... I had so much trouble on that part when I was a little kid. Mostly because when I was younger, whenever I played games, I had, like, little patience and I tried to do everything as quickly as possible. Oh, I'm stone. That song, it... It sounds so familiar. Where have I heard it before? Teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. <coughs> oh, that's... That's our old village. But we're gonna have to get that whenever we get our, um... Whenever we get our human form back. Right? Ow. Hey, you. Stop that. You. Hi, right, come on, stupid bug. Ah. Get over here. Die. There we go. <laughs> uh, something... Yeah, most of the, um... Most of the hidden abilities in this game... Some of them are really, really good. Others are kind of meh. There's actually one we're going to get later on, which reminds me... It kind of looks like a move from Wind Waker, actually. So... Oh. oh. Death Mountain. Ooh, 
Okay, those guys seem pretty scary, so we're gonna go ahead and fight them in the next episode. So, see you guys next time for more Twilight Princess HD, where we'll get the last two bugs. See you guys then. Eat bananas.